All right, let's uh let's play some games, shall we? Some Gran Turismo 3 A spec apparently is what we're going to be playing. Oh shit! Before we start, actually, I need to change the stream title and all that. So Gran Turismo 3 A spec. And then we are doing that category, Gran Turismo 3, A spec. There we go. Done. 20% off in the $2 to $1 games helped with the overpaying. Yeah, they had a couple games for a dollar. Now, they're Disney Sing It games, so probably not games I'll be able to play on stream at any point. But still, they're a dollar, you know, so I had to pick those up, and they ended up being a pretty decent deal. I, I, I think they normally run for, like, 4 or $5 or something like that whenever I looked them up. So not bad deal there. Um, There were a handful of other games, too. I The games that I overpaid on, for the most part, was only, like, you know, $0.50 cents to a dollar. But there was one. It was uh, an Avatar game that I ended up playing on, or paying much more than I probably should have. I, I must have misread it or whatever whenever I looked it up. So, I mean, like, that's too bad, you know, but it's not the end of the world. Who cares? Oh, nice, you just like that he's trying to do there. I'm sure the more he gets going, the more he will do stuff like that. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, that's where I want to buy a lot of my games from. The only reason why I haven't bought more stuff from down there is because buying things off the internet, I can get so cheap, you know? But I, I do want to support him more, and I do plan on going to my local game store here at some point. And don't get me wrong, his prices are completely reasonable. 100% completely reasonable. But I just know if I go to, like, eBay, I can I can get stuff cheaper, you know? Rue would love that. Rue would love what? Which game? The Disney Sing It? Oh, no. Don't. <laughs> I don't know if he's on or if he's going to get on tonight, but don't give him any ideas. We don't need none of that. Might be getting another arcade machine soon. And nice, that adds to the overall percentage of the collection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, like, the the six Final Fantasy games that I got won't add too much to the, <laughs> to the percentage just because, you know, duplicates. But, um... Other than that, yeah, uh, some of them were just like sports games, nothing crazy, you know. Uh, but then I got a couple Naruto games, uh, three different Final Fantasy games, uh, Devil May Cry. I did get the first Devil May Cry game. Um, I don't remember what the other ones were, but I <laughs> I got some other stuff too. Two Avatar games, yeah. Uh, and then, like I said, I think the rest of them were just a bunch of sports stuff, like Madden NFL games and crap like that. Yeah, I wanted, they had Jack 1, 2, 3, and Racing. They had, so, almost all of them. And I was very, very tempted to get those. But then I looked up the price, and it just didn't work out. Like, they, they wanted way too much for them up there, which is too bad. Did you say Naruto? Yes, I did. Yep, yep, got two different Naruto games. Um, Uzumaki, no, not Uzumaki Chronicles. These were something else. I don't remember. I'll get them all on the list either later tonight or tomorrow, so... Uh, we're going to be playing arcade mode. Is it arcade or simulation mode is the story mode. I, they need to just name things normal. <laughs> I get a man that you still use online a lot. The main things you try local for are there in the card ship. Yeah, the shipping is a thing that you have to you have to consider. Generally speaking, my rule of thumb is, though, online, if I can't get it for $4 under going price or more, then it's not worth it because of shipping cost. Oh, yeah, for board games and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot harder to uh, counterfeit video games, though, than it, is, uh, than it is, you know, video games. Or, I mean, it's a lot harder to counterfeit video games than it is board games and card games and stuff like that. I totally understand wanting to buy cards and, and things off, off a real shop, though. Because, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> There are so many counterfeit cards and shit out there, man. It's ridiculous, honestly. You love the Naruto fighting games? Any man card shop? Yeah, the the guy there was telling us that he really likes the uh, Naruto games that I got. He, uh, We talked a little bit about the different ones. He wasn't a huge fan of the Uzumaki Chronicle ones, the one that I played on stream before. Um, but he said he really liked these ones. They were they were much, much less uh, repetitive. So... All right, so we're we're going to play a little bit of the simulation mode, which is like the the quote-unquote story mode or however the hell you want to call it. 
I have played a tiny bit of this game before, but I do mean a tiny bit. And it was, you know, what, 20 years ago almost. <laughs> 15 years ago or whatever. So I've forgotten damn near everything at this point. I can go ahead and turn the game audio on now that I got all of the uh, the music muted. So we can go ahead and turn that back on too. Yeah, for sure you were reading that they've gotten ridiculously good at faking board games. I've never personally come across a bootleg board game that I know of, but I can imagine that, you know, there are groups out there that, that do it. I know Pokemon cards are real bad about that. So what am I supposed to be doing here, exactly? I think I'm just supposed to get... I, I should have read... <laughs> I should have read what the hell we were doing, but I wasn't paying that much attention. Uh, so those are the only two views that we have. I was kind of hoping we would have, like, a higher view. And then we're supposed to break at some point, right? That's the thing. They're so good it's hard to even tell they're a bootleg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, and then we... Then we stop in here before a time. Okay, so we got silver. That should be... Or no, wait. Oh, crap. That's really close. 35.800. We had to get under that. Okay, never mind. We had to do that licensing again, but that should be fine. Now that we know what we're doing. We don't even need to depress the directional buttons at all. There we go. Yeah, see? <laughs> and my ghost went all over the place, which uh, <laughs> wasn't helping anything out at all. So, yeah, we, we, we should be a little bit better here. Did you know that uh, I think it's a Gran Turismo game on PS3? It can play at like 1080i or something like that? I think it might be Gran Turismo 4. And then they had a uh, a land mode as well that you could do. You hooked up... Was it a land mode or was it... Oh, I don't remember. There was some special mode too if you hooked up two consoles together. That may have been the PS3 Gran Turismo game, but I think it was a PS2 Gran Turismo game. Either way, they had a, a special thing you could do where you would put two of them together... Uh, via a Ethernet cable and it was either like split screen but on two separate screens or or something I don't remember man oh you know what it was it was like a uh, uh, where you could like on PCs where you can have driving games and you split the view across two different monitors right to give you like a nice wraparound view that's what it was um, you could do that with one of the Gran Turismo games. It might have been the PS3 one, actually, but I don't remember for sure. All right, so we, we should have got that one, right? I'm pretty sure we got that license. We got the... Uh, we got a medal, at least. That should be good enough. All right? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, let's just go back. I can't remember, man. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played. So... Viper, start acceleration and braking two. We don't have to go. Oh, we have to do all of them. B license, final exam. Okay, so we gotta we gotta place in all of them. We can we can do that. I think. So that's the thing with Gran Turismo that a lot of people don't really like is that it does try to be a little bit more simulation like and a little less arcadey. It's still definitely an arcade game, but but it's not like super arcadey, you know. Like, they, they cut back on some of the arcadiness to introduce some of the simulation elements, including the fact that you need to get licenses for, for different cars and different levels of uh, racing and things like that. And I know that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. I've always been a huge fan, though, of Gran Turismo games where you went too far. We failed. Yep, try again. Um... Like, Gran Turismo, I think it was 5 on PS3, was one of my favorite racing games ever. Just the number of cars that you could collect, and the racing felt really, really good in it as well. I used to play the crap out of that. I remember, like, having sleepovers and making my younger brother do, like, races for me. Just hit start repeatedly, basically. Um, because they had, like, a mode where you would control your own, uh, group. Oh, crap. Did we get it? We got bronze. Barely, barely made it. I didn't think we were going to make it in there, man. That turning there at the end is uh, what saved us, I think. But uh, yeah, they had modes where you would like have your own racing team and, and you would get points for other people doing stuff or whatever. Apparently circle also is select. 
Or did I hit X like a dumbass? I don't know. Regardless, though, yeah, so I, I played the hell out of that game, and I absolutely loved it. I would love to play more of it someday, but I, I've signed up for this service called Backlog, or website, I guess, less than a service, and it helps you track your games and, uh, and what you need to, what you've played and what you need to complete and all that, and I, I mentioned it to Nate the other night, I know, but I as I was going through it, I realized that, like, I need to just not with some games. As much as I would love to play and complete some of these racing games, for instance, I just, I, I don't have the time. There's too many games that I want to complete, let alone, you know, completing games on, on stream and everything else. So there were a handful of games that I, that I like, that I enjoyed playing on stream, that I, I've decided that unless it ends up being a four stream thing, I'm just never going to complete them, because... I don't have the time, man, you know? And that's honestly the only way I'm ever going to get through all of my backlog of games is just realizing that, hey, some of these games I'm not going to complete, you know? I still want to play all of them, but I need to to accept that I'm just not going to be able to complete some of them. Um, yeah, no, we're going to try again. Another thing with uh, Gran Turismo games, you can't go off track too much because they don't like that. They get a little upset with you when you do. You're finally playing through Mass Effect 1, and dude, there was a racing game called Juiced on OG Xbox, one of your favorites. That and the OG Need for Speed, most wanted. Need for Speed is a ton of fun, just the, most of them. There are a handful of them that aren't great, um, but yeah, there's a ton of them that are just really good. We, we did not corner this properly at all. This coupe handles like shit, too. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> That was, <laughs> I don't think, yeah, no, we already, we're already past the, the time, time expired, holy crap, okay, we got this, we can do this, yeah, I've never heard of Juiced, though, Juiced on the OG Xbox, huh, hmm, <clears throat> what was it, was it like a normal racing game, or was it something super arcadey, like Need for Speed, or something like that, or, because I've never heard of it, so I, I have no idea, alright, so, we want to slow down and then bring in the corner and nope come on turn you damn car turn <laughs> oh man this car sucks that's another thing that i really like about the gran turismo games is okay we got bronze that's good enough is uh that like you buy these junky cars and then you slowly work your way up to all the nice ones and everything like that throughout the career oh man I love me some some Gran turismo games i think this is one of the ones that mr noodle got for me isn't it love if you can still hear me I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones you got me, uh, actually. Oh, I should have read what we were doing in this one. Love Need for Speed, but the original Most Wanted was your favorite. Climbing the blacklist and picking the cards out and all. It was street racing, a lot of customization, all that. Yeah, I loved that stuff too, man. Being able to change like uh, your your body paint and your rims and all that jazz. Shouldn't have said, hmm, uh... Grand Turismo 3 a -spec, the game that we're playing right now. Isn't this one of the ones you got me, actually? Or you may not remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I want to say this is one of the ones you got me, love. You think so? Yeah, I think so, too. Which is, uh, I was just saying, like, how much I love the Grand Turismo series, so... I appreciate it, so thank you, love, for getting this one for me. Oh, no, we we went way offline there. Oh, we're, we're, we're about to hit the wall. Okay, try again. <laughs> You think a Christmas one for $5? That sounds right. $5, I think. My case is sitting over by the PS2. So I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think this is one of the $5 ones. It definitely came from that shop where you bought all my games from. I know that much. Oh, God. Okay, this one handles a little bit better, but it's still freaking rough. Holy shit. Okay. We got this, man. <laughs> Getting the top part if you pick the right card after a boss race. Yeah, those games are like super arcadey, but still a crap ton of fun, you know? The Need for Speed games. There's nothing wrong with arcadey racing games. I just, uh, something about the Gran Turismo more simulation-ish was a lot of fun to me. And then I really liked, I think it was the... Oh, we lost control. We had it for a second, but we lost it. I think it was the PS3 one where they actually did, like, the top racers in the world on Gran Turismo 
got the chance to go and get their actual driving license um, by using like Gran Turismo to practice and whatnot, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. Oh man, we just cannot pull in that corner enough. That might be okay. We might make it. I, we're definitely not getting gold, but we might get bronze. Oh, yeah, okay, bronze. I was hoping for silver, but nope, not even that. If it's five, then it was a Christmas game, Mr. Noodle said. If it was less than that, then it was a birthday game. I mean, either way, whatever. I just thought you got it for me, and I couldn't remember for sure, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the, the ad in the beginning before everything started, but the auto ad uh, Twitch thing. should Yeah, took care of that. That's fine. Just means we had pre-rolls turned on a, a little longer than I would have liked, probably, but hey, we It's not the end of the world. From a standing start, take three consecutive corners, left, right, and left. Rather than going full out on the first two corners, figure out how to get out of the third corner smoothly by hitting the gas for a, a fast time. Take the line that puts you in the best shape for getting out of the last corner. Gaining speed on the following long straightaway is more important than anything else. So it's saying go slow around the corner if necessary to get a bunch of speed coming out of it on the last straightaway. Okay. Okay. I can dig it. How well does this car handle? I started turning a little too early. Um, and if we go off track for too long, it's going to penalize us. Okay, so far, so good. One of the weird things about this game, um, because the PS2 has the whole thing with uh, the pressure-sensitive face buttons, you're actually able to just barely press down on X to barely press down on the throttle. And uh, I, it works. Like, don't get me wrong. It does work, but not pressing the X button all the way down feels wrong, you know? <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to me at all. It's nice that it's a feature for racing games because you can technically, like, more smoothly accelerate or, you know, just instead of fluttering the throttle around these turns, you can uh, just more gently press the the accelerator to get, to get around them more smoothly things like that but um i uh, i struggle with it man because i always just want to mash it down 24 7 we are doing so much better than our ghost i don't think we're gonna place well but we should at least get bronze yeah we did 36.2 let's go boy you like Gran Turismo also? It definitely has the peak when it comes to realism and such, especially in the newer ones. You're just more into street racing normally. Yeah, that yeah, and nothing wrong with that, man. I love all the customization options that you get a need for speed um, and street racing games in general and whatnot. And street racing is more exciting too, right? Because with, with these games, you're racing on tracks. Although they're not like NASCAR tracks, at least, they're still, you know, tracks. With need for speed, you have like other cars that you're trying to dodge coming the other way more varied tracks than, than even Need for Speed has, or I'm sorry, than what Gran Turismo has or whatever. So yeah, one of these days I do want to try out, um, shit, what's it called? The Forza games, the, the Microsoft racing games. I do want to try those out someday because I've heard good things about them, but I, I, they've never really captured my attention. But I've heard that, you know, they're, they're really good as far as racing games go though. Just the racing aspect of it's really good. So I need to give them a try to see if it's something that I would enjoy. One of these days, I, I will. All right, we went off track a little too much there. Are we going to pull it in? Okay, I don't think that was smooth enough, though, for us to accelerate back in for a trophy. Maybe 33, 34. Ah, missed it by 0.2 seconds, man. That's all right. We'll just try again. I can't wait to get our first license so that we can <laughs> so that we can get into the actual racing part of the game, you know? Do the actual meat and potatoes of the game, not this uh, license BS. I didn't mess around with it. I should have looked and seen if it was possible to get uh, into the game earlier or not, but... Oh, that was too much. Too much. All right. Come on. Come on. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Oh, buddy. That was close. Are we going to accelerate fast enough, though, to beat our 
ghost we are, but just barely. Yeah, oh, is that a tie? Oh no, no, we were actually 0 .03 seconds, 0 .003 seconds slower. Holy crap, that was, uh, that was close, but not good. They are good, you had the free one on 360, didn't catch you as much because of not being straight racing. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, but it definitely has the fine points too and has improved more and more. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. And then like Horizon, I think, is the one with the like open maps that you can race around and whatnot, right? The really big open maps. Um, like that looks good to me. My whole thing is like in Gran Turismo, for instance, I really like the whole collecting aspect, right? Of collecting cars and doing all that. And uh, you don't get that in any of the other games that I know of. It's perfectly possible that that's in Forza or something. I just don't know it. But Gran Turismo 5 had, what, like a thousand cars or something ridiculous? Like, like holy shit, man, you know? And and collecting all those cars, slowly gaining more and more money and doing better and better for the better stuff, just, just building it all up was a big, a big bonus for me in that game. Also, the bot is broken today. I, I don't know why. It says that it's in chat. Like, uh, cause, cause you have to add the Streamlabs bot as a mod. So it says it's here and it's active, but it is not picking up on any of my commands and it's kind of annoying me. I checked it out on the website and as far as I can tell, everything is still like up and running there, but it, it's just, I don't know. It's broken, I guess. Oh shit. I didn't mean to hit start again. Whatever. I guess we're going to try this one one more time. I mean, we already, we already got the license, so we don't need to worry about that, but we're going to do it again just because I accidentally hit. <laughs> Circle instead of triangle or or whatever There we go that was that was smooth that was good this part is not so smooth we're drifting uh, this is Tokyo drift now <laughs> And no, we're not gonna we 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 took that corner way too harsh man. There's no way Yeah, oh well, we already got it so it doesn't matter yeah, you messed with that one a little. It seemed interesting. Have you picked up any of the Midnight Clubs yet? I have not. I think I may have played a Midnight Club at some point, though. I, I definitely know of them, at least. Whether I played them or not, I'm not 100% positive. I think I have. But I don't have any in my collection at this moment, though. No. Mm -mm. I did get one other racing game today, though. It's, uh... <laughs> I don't expect it to be particularly good. It's Ford Racing. We'll We'll see. If it's any good or not, it's uh, it looks a little iffy to me, but what do I know? Here you run through a blind high speed winding section. The left or right corner just before the tunnel is very difficult. Get experience in a somewhat underpowered car with less risk. The key is to hit the brakes with the car going as straight as possible. Okay. They're really good street racing games and have a decent bit of cars in them. I have to check it out sometime. I would love to, I can't wait to play some Need for Speed. Most wanted, obviously, being the, like, top of the... Or no, Underground. Underground being the, the top of the line ones, in my opinion. But all of them are, are a ton of fun, though. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. We hit that corner pretty, pretty well. We could have hit this one a little bit better, but... If we, if we had followed the line a little bit more, we'd probably have gone through that one a little bit faster. Okay, hey, you know what? We already got a uh, bronze medal, first try. Not bad, not bad. I, I'm assuming after we do this one, we're gonna have to do it again with a more powerful gar. Who knows if we'll get it then, but you know. <laughs> so far, so good. They were the one that went toe-to-toe -to -toe popularity wise with Need for Speed back in the day. I've definitely heard of them, but at least in my family, they weren't like the game, you know? Need for Speed was the street racing game the the not simulation racing game honestly i mean growing up we played more need for speed than gran turismo by a lot too one of my cousins liked playing gran turismo a fair bit and then like i said i i really got into gran turismo whenever gran turismo 5 came around on on ps3 that's when i just freaking fell in love with the series man it was so much fun oh man okay that was a bad corner i don't think we're gonna make it in time are we doing a full lap now or I should have read. What am I going to learn? <laughs> or are we just doing the same thing that we were doing last time? We might just be... Oh, we can take it on the yellow there. Like, really get in there for that turn. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna I don't even see the finish line. There it is. Five, six, nope. Yeah. Not this time. We were a whole second and a half off, man. That one's uh pretty far off there. That's alright, we'll uh we'll try again. No problemo. Start. I need to can I go into the options from here? I can't. Okay. I want to turn on at least a little bit of the music. I'm going to have it turned down really low because I'm fairly certain these are all, like, actual real songs by, you know, popular artists that are in the, the game. So I'm not going to have it turned up high because I don't want to uh, get in trouble here. Hit the wall. That's game over. Crap. Try again. Need for Speed was your and your uncle's go-to. Your cousin loved Midnight Club. Oh, okay, okay. So you got a little bit of exposure to both. As I had this friend growing up that really liked weird racing games. He wasn't allowed to play um, a lot of games, though. Like, his mother didn't let him play any uh, Grand Theft Auto games, for instance. So he played, like, the Driver series and stuff like that. So I, <laughs> I, I got some experience with those, with some, like, weird knockoff titles with him. I think he also had, like, some sort of forward racing game or something for the Xbox. Um, I don't remember the name of it. What I do remember is we tried, like, hell to get through that game. And after a certain point, it was probably only, like, the 10th the race or something, maybe. It was just impossible for us to progress any farther in it, no matter how hard we tried. Like, we could not do it at all. And it irritated the hell out of me because other than that, I was really enjoying the game until we got to this point that it was just impossible to do anything, man. I don't know if, like, we spec'd our car wrong or if we just shouldn't have bought the car that we bought or what, but, yeah, it was just like, <laughs> once we got to that point, it was over. Game, game over, man. Couldn't do crap. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, we should have a license now, right? Yeah, be licensed exam results. Here we go. So now that we have a license, we should be able to buy a car and start doing some actual races and shit. Or this game might provide us with a car to start with. I'm not 100% certain. Let's, uh... We're not going to worry about the other licenses right away. So, what do we have? We should have looked at some of this stuff before we started. So we have the tune-up shop to, you know, make our car better. We have a car dealer. Here you'll find sports cars from all around the world. Come and find a car that tickles your fancy. The virtual showroom also exhibits race cars and concept cars you've only dreamt of. Very cool. Machine test. Here you can check the dynamic performance of your car. Try your car on the 0 to 400 meter acceleration test or measure its top speed. Power up your car and then check it out here. GT Auto. I think this is for the used cars or something. No, this is the car maintenance and dress up needs. Okay. Okay. So then home, this is your home and garage for all your cars. Here you can save your game and check your progress in the game. Your garage can hold up to 200 cars. Holy crap, yeah. So they must have a fair bit <laughs> in here if they can hold up to 200 cars. And that's where the races are held. So let's go home for a moment and just see if there's any cars in our garage or if we start with nothing. Okay, yeah, so we start with nothing. So we're going to have to get, get some. Can we trade cars? Oh, from, like, one memory card to the other. Very cool. Okay. I like that. Uh, run in setting. Okay. I don't know what that does, but... We'll check that out after we go and buy a car, I guess. <laughs> run and setting. What the hell does that mean, man? I have no idea. Alright, uh... What do we have? We have 18,000 credits. Let's see what piece of junk we can buy for 18,000 credits, huh? Check out Japanese first, I guess. So we can get a... Mira... It would be nice if they just had, like, the name in normal font here. <laughs> we can get that. The Mira, Mira TRXX Storia X4. If we click on it, do we get specs or anything? Spec, yeah, okay. So this menu could be a little bit nicer, though. I guess, you know, they, they probably expected you to be sitting really far from a TV, so they want to make all the words really large and stuff like that. But it's a little, uh, it's a little cumbersome to have to go through so many clicks just to see the specs on all the different cars. 
What's Honda got for us, huh? Uh, Hondas are all too expensive. So nothing in the Honda court. Mazda? Uh, we could get a Demio GLX. Uh, Mazda Miata. I did. I do remember liking the Miatas. They're pretty neat. We could afford that. I don't know what the difference between these are. They're both MX-5. It's just the red one's more expensive. Everybody know red makes your car go faster, so that's probably why. <laughs> Mitsubishi? Uh, nope, too expensive. Too rich for our blood. Nissan? Sylvia, too expensive. Oh, wait. Wait, were there some actual cheaper ones? I thought they always had cheapest first and they just got more expensive. I guess not. That one's 18. And these ones are like race cars and concept cars, so we can't, can't get any of those. Subaru? There are so many freaking options, man. It's insane. Suzuki? Uh, so that's not bad. Suzuki Sports Limited? That seems like a pretty decent starter car. For 12 grand, we could afford a little bit of money to tune it up, probably. Does it have, like, max speed or anything like that? Max power, max torque? No, I guess. I guess not. Subaru Crosstrek? <laughs> is that in here? What? <laughs> I don't know if that is. Is it? Oh, man. We got the Legacy V4. Impreza. Impreza. Legacy Touring Wagon. Impreza. Legacy something another. Impreza. Impreza, Impreza. No. No Subaru cross treks, man. <laughs> I just got a Subaru cross trek. <laughs> That'd be great if it was, though. You know that's the car I would have ended up buying, like, hands down. No ifs, ands, or buts. Toyota's got a lot of shit for us, though. We could, we could get a Toyota. A Toyota? A Toyota? We gonna get a Toyota, ma? What's USA got for us, huh? Acura... See, they need a screen where you can just see all cars and then sort by, like, cost and shit like that. That would make things a lot nicer to get through all these menus. We can get a PT Cruiser. <laughs> It'll give us $20 to spare. I don't know how we're going to buy any gas for it, but we can buy one. <laughs> Built to be reliable, got in a couple accidents. Yeah. <laughs> Acura is just luxury Honda. I mean, you could be right. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, man. I know so little about cars, it's stupid. Hey, the Shelby. I do like the uh, the Shelby there, that's pretty cool. These ones, why are they all grayed out? Does that mean there's nothing we can afford in that, in that bracket, I'm guessing? So this one's grayed out, or is that just the way that one looks? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well, we definitely can't afford that. So I don't know, maybe just all of the German logos are gray I, I i have no idea why they were all grayed out man no legitimately is akura's honda's luxury line if you remember right you could very well be right i have no idea i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say you're wrong because i just don't know <laughs> you didn't know if it was in there or not you were just playing your game and heard subaru yeah <laughs> uh, i wish i could get it now though since you mentioned it i do want it but I, mean, I don't remember if it was this game or, or a different one, but I do remember using, uh, I had a code breaker for my PlayStation back in the day, and I remember messing around with that and just maxing out the horsepower on cars. Like, there would be so much horsepower that you would just spin tires for like 10 minutes straight. Like, it was insane. I don't even know why they made cheat codes for it, like, that go that high. Because, like, the code breaker would come with bundled in cheat codes or, or people would post their own or whatever. Like, it was just, it was stupid. Like, <laughs> there was there was no way. You were never going to uh, race with that much horsepower behind your wheels, man. It was actually impossible. All right, so it looked like a, a Japanese car was probably something we wanted to get. Does anybody remember the one that was, like, oh, right here. Actually, I, I went right to it. So, yeah, what do you say? You think uh, the Alto works? Suzuki Sports Limited? here and then we can try to maybe spec it up a little bit or something it's got a whole 63 horsepower 6,000 rpms it's got a max torque of 72 foot pounds 4,000 rpm it's got 657 cc displacement weighs 710 kilograms it's four-wheel drive it's got some uh na slash turbo it's got some turbo i guess whatever that means 
<laughs> I have no idea. But I think I think we are gonna take this one. Can we change like the the color or anything? Ah, we can. How did I? Okay, up and down. Black, black metallic all the way, man. White just gets too dirty too easy. You have to scoot to double check. You only know because you've been watching some mechanic YouTubers. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. All right, so we got our first car, man. Hell yeah. So we can go to the tune shop now, right? Get it tuned up a little bit. Suspension and brakes. So that's three grand for suspension. Um, For sports suspension. Sports brakes are 4,500. So we could afford one or the other of those. Muffler and air cleaner. We could get a full racing system for that, 4,500. Ooh, we could get a racing chip put in. That actually sounds like a good idea. So maybe we'll get a racing chip and if we have enough left over, the better brakes. I imagine if we click on one of these, it'll give us like what it's gonna change exactly. Special ra racing modification allows independent adjustment of the limited slip effect during acceleration and deceleration, although capable of greatly changing a car's performance. This mod requires careful adjustment as improper adjustment can destroy the car's balance. On a four-wheel drive car, both front and rear limited slip differentials are adjustable. Okay. I remember getting really into this stuff when I was younger and playing these games. Like, here you go. These ones straight up tell you the uh, horsepower change, I guess. The other ones probably didn't because it wasn't that simple for them, you know? Simulation tires, sports tires, racing tires, dirt racing tires. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can make your car lighter, too, by ripping pieces out of it. I remember that. Okay, yeah, so we're going to get... I think we're going to get the, the racing chip put in and then maybe some better braking. So that'll give us two extra horsepower. The most basic upgrade, altering the engine management program setting allows you to boost power by adjusting engine ignition timing, the air-fuel ratio, and other variables. For turbocharged vehicle, the air filter and muffler are also replaced for beginner's level upgrade. Yeah, I mean, we're beginners, and this is our first upgrade, so that sounds perfect. Yes, install that. Give us a whole two extra horsepower, guys. Holy shit. We are raking it in now. So we have enough to do sports brakes, or we could get better suspension, and then something else maybe, but I think probably just better brakes. Contains large diameter brake rotor, high rigidity calipers, and carbon metallic brake pads for reliable control during high speed braking. With far more initial stopping power and fade resistance than ordinary brakes, these brakes are also suitable for endurance races. Brake fluid is also changed. Oh, that's right. We should probably save some money for that stuff. You know what? No, we're going to get the, the better suspension. We're going to get the better suspension. Um, Is there a way to see what's currently in our car actually before we do that? Because I don't know if, like, maybe it comes with the first level of stuff pre-installed like that. So, garage. Click on that. Spec. Okay, so now that's the spec. Can we see what parts are installed? Wheel. What does wheel do? Oh, we can change, like, what kind of tires and stuff. Get in. Okay. Press start button to sort vehicles. Well, that doesn't help. Maybe run in setting. Maybe that's what this is. Oh, wait, can we change our car setting for each track? Or are we just taking it out to the track to test it? Oh, yeah, no, okay. This just lets us uh, take it to the track. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Maybe if we go to the GT Auto, maybe this is where we can see what parts we got. Car wash, oil change, wheel shop. No. Wait. I mean, I know I'm blind, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna buy the suspension. Sports suspension. Buy. Yes. Install. Yes. Holy shit, that's a lot of clicks. Okay, so it says that one's purchased now. So I assume if we had something else, then uh, like already pre-installed or whatever, it would have told us. But in the other games, I remember you could actually adjust all those settings. Like the, uh, the, the, the suspension levels and your gear ratios and, and your, your tire tilt. I remember you could adjust all that shit. So I, I thought maybe you could in this game too, but I'm not sure. There was a settings thing right before we 
got into here. So maybe, uh, maybe if we mess around with the settings a little bit or something. Just so you know, you're busy on Sunday, February 13th, late, and you have plans. What are y'all doing on Sunday? I mean, my only real plan on Sunday is to stream some Lord of the Rings, the third age. That's, uh, that should be all I'm doing, personally. All right, so a top speed of slow as shit is what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> TCS, what's that? Traction control system? ASM? I don't know what that may be for. You might not be able to watch. What? You're leaving me, love? That's so rude. Can't believe you're just going to leave me like that. That hurts. <laughs> now that's okay. I understand. If you can't be here, you can't be here. Oh, oh my lord, you're actually watching the football game? <laughs> I can't... <laughs> that's that's so weird. I can't, I can't believe you're watching the football game. Just doesn't sound like something you or uh, Leighton would be into. <laughs> Not the game, just the commercials and halftime show. That's still, though, like, you have to watch the, you have to watch the game to watch that stuff, you know? I mean, you can play on your phones or whatever while the actual game part's going on. But the, the game's gonna be in between all the commercials and halftime show. <laughs> All right, so we got up to 100. I don't expect we'll get up to 100 a whole lot during the actual, you know, playing of the game. Because, uh, I mean, it took us half a, a racetrack to get there, but... <laughs> Is Super Bowl coming up? I, I guess this Sunday. I didn't know it was coming up this Sunday, but <laughs> I'm assuming that's what Mr. Noodle's talking about. They are having some uh, cool people doing the music this year. Uh, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Dr. Dre, and Kendrick Lamar. So it should be a pretty decent show, but... Should have got a Honda? Oh, man. Don't even start. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have to go clear around the track one whole time for this to end? Or... Not this Sunday? Oh, wait. Then when is it? I'm confused. I thought you meant this Sunday, Mr. Noodle. We're still in January, love? What, did you say in February or something? I didn't see... I thought you just said you'll be busy this Sunday. February. Well, I don't know when the game is. I don't watch football. Like, at all. Could not care less about football. <laughs> Alright, so we got a max of 104.4. Okay, so I mean, it's not terribly slow oh you said sunday february 13th okay i missed the uh <laughs> i missed that that part sorry geez it's a decent lineup and all i'm saying is civic would have lapped you twice by now <laughs> i mean maybe i i don't know man all right can we change okay so we can change parts and shit from here i'm surprised that we couldn't change them before the race like at our garage or something maybe we can and i just missed the option uh muffler and air cleaner computer sports we can also switch that back up for the other one turbo kit can we change like the transmission settings we can't we can just equip better ones okay well, i mean that's fine it's a little less uh maybe a little less simulation-y not being able to change the individual settings like that but Oh, you can only turn the music on or off. You can't turn down the levels. That sucks. I wanted to turn it on. Just have it be quiet. Oh, we can turn on handicap settings. <laughs> oh, no. It's only a uh, two-player battle and eye link stuff. Okay. I mean, that's probably for the best, but... Steering assist, amateur, beginner, professional simulation. We'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it the way it is on beginner. I'm fine with that, because... Yeah... You read it out loud, you're sure? You guess it just didn't register for me? I guess not, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure you did. Well, no, I know you did. I went back and, and looked at it, and I saw that you put it there, but I, I completely missed it. But all right, guys, we are way over our half hour mark, so we are going to take just a very short break to get rid of those pesky pre-roll ads, as well as uh, give me a chance to stand up and stretch and drink and all that stuff. And then we're going to be back with an actual race, our first actual race, 11 days into the game here. We spent uh, a nearly 18,000 credits, 
but we're finally going to have a race. <laughs> Be back in just a minute or two, guys. Oh, wait. Does, oh, okay, no. It just knocked me over. I thought just being on the ground damaged me there. Nah, it just, uh, just stuns me for a sec. Oh, okay, well, somebody hit me, though. It's all right. This is just my last life. That's all. It's fine. Just, just bullet hell. Just spam. Just spam and he'll die, right? I think we, I think we did it. Floor is lava. No. Can I pick up the eyeball? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. So is that the end of the first level? I think we did it. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. I was fully expecting the game over. Harder than I expected. I Some of the controls are a little iffy. Like I said, the, the jump is very floaty. And uh, the dodge roll, I feel like it needs a couple iframes associated with it. Like whenever you're first getting up and whatnot. But maybe as I get more used to it, it won't be as uh, much of an issue for me. See if we can beat the second level without game over. <laughs> Hardly made it through the first. We got this, though. Just gotta believe, man. All right. We're back. Everybody ready? I'm definitely ready. You know, Nate, bringing up the fact that your Civic would have lapped with that uh, shitty little car twice by now. Made me think, I do actually, one of these days, want to take, maybe not my car, <laughs> but a car to the track. I think that would be a lot of fun, honestly. To just take a car out to the track and be able to go all out, man. Because uh, everybody knows that I, I tend to speed a little bit. And I think it would be fun going somewhere where, you know, you're allowed to speed. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be, like, in an actual race with other people. Until maybe I was more comfortable with it or whatever, but just to be able to go around the, the track full tilt, that'd be a lot of fun. Citing technical course layouts, if you are just starting out, try polishing your skills here. The Sunday Cup. Want to leave the amateur ranks? Try this race first for a challenge, okay? Front engine, front drive, car race. We don't have front engine, front drive. We have all wheel drive, so we can't do that. FRMR, four wheel drive, so we could do that one. Lightweight sports. So all different kinds of crap. We're, we're just going to start out with the Sunday Cup. How about that? You want to get a Civic Type R and then do just that? I'm not even 100% sure what that is. <laughs> like I said, I, I am uh, not a car person, sadly. No limitations on cars. First place prize is only 1000 bucks. So <laughs> we're not going to get a much money. A uh, much money. We're not going to get much for this here. But we're going we're gonna to try it out. Thankfully, I think it's free to... Enter the races, right? Should be free, hopefully. Otherwise, we're going to be in a really tough spot here. You could uh, you could get into a position where you're just always screwed. Uh, okay, we'll do the qualifying lap. Maybe we can get better than, than you know, starting in third place. Qualifying starts after one warm-up lap. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. So we're going to pull out and then just go around. I wonder how these other cars are going to be. Like, better, worse, roughly the same. This is, like, the beginner's course, right? So it should be roughly the same. Very simple racetrack here, too. Very uh, NASCAR-esque. It's got a long freaking drive-in, though, doesn't it? Holy shit. Civic Type R, the R is literally for racing. Oh, okay. And the 2020 model did awesome on some city circuits. Hey, that's cool, man. And that's like a regular street car that you can get then. Just tuned for racing or whatever. It's pretty cool. I've always been a big fan of... Uh, oh, no, I, I honestly can't even remember the names now of cars. I'm having a hard time smoothly turning. So, hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bitch here, love. I appreciate it. 
You know what else I noticed? So not only is my bot not working today, but your uh, emotes aren't popping up on stream today for some reason. So there must be must be something going on with the uh, with Streamlabs. They must be having some trouble. The steering's just a little too touchy. I need to. Uh, I should. I don't think it's compatible with PS2, but I do have a racing wheel. I have to. Oh man, I don't know where I put it. I wish I knew where I was at. I would dig it out and see if it's compatible. Because if it's compatible, this game would instantly be so much more fun. But I, I don't think it is. Because I'm pretty sure it was a USB racing wheel. And as far as I'm aware... Well, no. There were, what, USB mics for PS2, huh? For the singing games and shit? So maybe you can use the uh, USB racing wheel for, for this here. But I, I think it was a PS3 only racing wheel, though. He says he's going to get us a Kia Soul. Wait, what? <laughs> who who said you're getting a Kia Soul? Cause uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, love. I'm not I'm not very into Kia Souls. They're fine, I guess, but like, meh. You? <laughs> I don't remember ever saying that. I'm pretty sure you're putting words in my mouth right now. It's one of the very few cars you want, Nate, that doesn't have a utility purpose behind it uses a regular street car and all that's awesome man i do want to get a utility vehicle at some point too since you mentioned utility cars probably probably a truck i'm not a big fan of trucks personally but you can't deny having you know the four-wheel drive in the winter around here would be nice as well as the just having a you know a larger bed to carry stuff in and whatnot like it would be convenient at times don't ever get a Kia Soul. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that into them personally. It's like, I don't, I'm not trying to down talk them or anything like that. One of my friends has a Kia Soul and I mean, she liked it for a long time, but the resale value just doesn't seem that great on it. And they, uh, honestly, it doesn't seem like they're built to last, right? It seems like they're, they're good for the first 50, 100,000 miles or whatever. And then they just kind of fall apart, which I mean, whatever. It's just, I'm used to driving cars at like 200,000 miles, you know? <laughs> so, but again, I'm not a car expert. I could be 100% wrong on all of that. That's just uh, basically what I've heard and what I've seen from friends that do have them. You want a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon edition as a utility vehicle? Uh, why have I heard of Rubicon before? I don't know if you've mentioned it or if I've seen somebody that has one of those or what. But I've definitely heard of a, a Jeep Rubicon before. You would like a newer Civic as your everydayer? You're really big into them Civics, aren't you, man? I don't know. I had the... Uh, I mean, right now I drive a Buick around. And, I mean, it's been pretty decent for me for the most part. And then... What I had before... Uh, Chevy Cavalier was it a Cavalier that I was driving I don't remember but whatever I had before worked pretty well too besides the whole you know a deer jumping out in front of me thing that kind of uh, killed that one but it's what your dad's Jeep is so you have mentioned it a few times that makes sense like I said I know I had heard of it I just couldn't remember why I gotta try to stay on the inside but don't touch the grass and then once you get around to the outside of a curve you actually want to go out right you don't want to you don't want to cut it in there at the end okay so lap five how many laps so we're just placing a third i can end at any time i'm guessing i don't think we have to keep going but i'll, I'll, I'll take starting at third place that's fun let's go start get our first real race going man All right, and before we get wrecked. <laughs> all right, these guys definitely have more acceleration than I do. They are already pulling away. Holy crap. Okay, come on. Come on, little car. Little car that could. You got this. Could probably pull it into the inside corner a little bit slower to be able to build up a bit more speed. I wonder if drafting is a thing in this game. I would imagine it is. But I'm not 100% positive. 
I mean, that's a, a fairly simple car game mechanic, you know? I feel like that's in most games. You also want to try not to hit other people in this game. You do get penalized for things like that. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, so we are pulling away. We're in third. Let's just get this, this turn nice and smooth, hopefully. But get it on the inside. And then let it slowly fade out. Bro, we might not do terribly. My thumb is killing me, though, because I am pressing down this X button like nothing. <laughs> like, it, like, it did me wrong. Like, it owes me money, man. Like, I am... I got my finger pressed on this thing, and it is quickly wearing out my thumb. <laughs> I do like newer racer, racing games using the R2, like the, the triggers, right? That That's nice. Really wears out your fingers less than just mashing on the X button on the PS2 here. Fell in love with the way it handles turns and all. Civics have a good track record, lasts for a few hundred thousand miles. But just general maintenance are reasonably priced. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame you for liking them then. That sounds like an excellent everyday driver car, you know? They handle fairly well in wintry conditions too, because obviously that's something we got to worry about around here. Wintry conditions are a, a big part of our day-to-day -day life. Obviously. All right, we are actually catching up. I'm kind of surprised. These other guys definitely have more acceleration, so we probably need to work on lowering our weight. Um, our weight and max, or an acceleration, are probably the two things that we need to adjust in this car, then. Just based off of what I'm, I'm seeing here in this race. Sadly, getting third place isn't going to give us much money to do anything. But, it's a start, right? And, uh, I don't know. We'll look at what options there are. The the lower weight kit's only, what, a grand? Did I get that one already? Maybe I got that one already. How much were the, the gears? I don't remember that either. We're gonna have to look into it, though. It seems like we are slowly gaining on these guys, though, but not enough to pass either one of them. We need to hit that NOS button real quick, man. <laughs> give, us, give us a nice little boost here at the end so we can pass them up real quick. So we lost by 1.3 seconds. Not terrible for our first race. You know, we got third. Our debut race getting third place. That it doesn't actually sound all that bad. When a Toyota Sienna as the family car, it's a minivan. I kind of miss, I drove around a creeper van for a little while. For anybody who doesn't know, I know Nate and Mr. Noodle know. And I, I actually kind of miss it. Just because of all the towing capacity and everything. Not towing capacity, but like all the shit that you could put in the back of it. That did come in handy. Wait, what? Oh, this is like the replay. We don't need to we don't need to watch the replay. Uh I guess just exit. Ugh, it was the worst. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. I mean, okay, once it got to the point to where like the engine sounded like it was gonna blow up every time we drove it, yeah, that was pretty bad. But other than that, like <laughs> it wasn't the worst. I mean, sure, it felt a little weird driving around in a creeper van all the time, you know? felt like a creeper but <laughs> but yeah muffler and air cleaner so that gives us more horses that's not too bad uh port polish full engine balancing displacement and racing chip can't really do anything like that had to practically jump in it yeah that's true <laughs> it, it was very high it sat very high i mean heck you took it out in storms and all and it would legit not be worried that's awesome man flywheel what does the flywheel do again Let's the engine rev more quickly. Improves acceleration slightly, but with narrow power band engines, revs may drop below the power band unless a close ratio transmission is also used. So we could just go straight for a racing flywheel. Makes shifting faster, improves acceleration, deceleration, but with narrow power band engines, revs may drop below the power band unless a close ratio is also used in the driver. Can master proper shifting. I mean, we're using automatic shifting, so hopefully... You know, the automatic shifting would take care of that for us. But I am tempted just to go straight for the racing level flywheel or whatever the hell it was called. Intercooler just gives us a few more horses. Stability control and other. We did get light wheel, lightweight one. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go for the for the flywheel. Racing flywheel. 
What does the, the clutch... Changes the clutch feeling during shifting so that upshifting feels more direct than with a normal clutch. Does that improve acceleration? Response and torque. Um, when used with a lightweight flywheel, improves acceleration dramatically. This kit is ideal for non-supercharged engines with a narrow torque band, for instance, rather than highly tuned cars. Let's try... Let's go ahead and get this one since it's relatively cheap. We'll go ahead and spend 900 on that, the racing flywheel. And then we'll see, like, if it if it seems to do better or worse. Because we can do the same race again and then go from there. I mean, yeah, we can do the, the same exact course and everything. And see if we, uh, if we place a little bit better. I don't know if it'll show the ghost or ghost during the real races. I think it'll only show it whenever we're doing, like, practice races and shit. But I could be wrong with that, too. Your pap used, your pap had one of those, man. You set up your PS2 in it for trips to Akron for Dog and Boy. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. We had a, uh, it wasn't a creeper van, but we had, like, one of those vans that had, oh, we should have did the qualifying round. That was dumb. We had, like, one of those vans that had, you know, the, the little, I think this one had a TV, but it also had, like, a chess table and shit in it. Like, it was, it was ridiculous, man. <laughs> All the shit that it had in it. But it had it had issues like we couldn't they had to get rid of it my my parents did or i don't think they actually got rid of it i think it just kind of sat around forever but regardless we didn't get to take it out very much not the van the ford explorer oh okay okay all right so we do seem to be going a little bit better i mean we started in sixth this time that's something important to remember is that we started farther back, but we're still catching up fairly quickly because we started in third last time, dropped to fourth, and then took our place back once we got up to speed. And we started in sixth this time and are almost back up to third. Can we catch up with first or second? That's going to be the, the real test here. It feels like we're catching up much quicker this time, so that may have been a pretty decent option. Though we still need to get that other thing to go with it, right? The uh, the clutch, because it said that we should take the the clutch and the flywheel kind of together, give you a massive acceleration boost. So I think that's going to be the next thing that we need to get, so that out of these corners we can get more acceleration. It'd be a little bit better too if I was able to take these corners a little bit more smoothly, but I am not. I'm not having the best time steering. It feels very, very touchy. And if I was able to be more gentle with the controls, I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad. And I'm not blaming the game here, just to be clear. It's just, it's me, man. I'm not very good with a joystick these days. I'm a uh, an all or nothing, basically, type of person, you know? It's not like when I was younger playing Call of Duty all the time. And I was able to very precisely move uh, <laughs> the joystick to get headshots and... and snipe people halfway across the map and shit i can't do that anymore <laughs> definitely can't do that anymore man i remember playing like hardcore mode on call of duty games with pistols was like my go-to whenever i'd play online or anything like that i would just play freaking hardcore and then use a pistol because that was like it was a across the map two hit kill and they reload so quick you can run fast as hell with them out compared to other weapons like, you always had ammo for them. It was just pistols were the best option, man, in my opinion. Okay, so our best lap time... Oh, that's just... Is that all time or just this race, though? 58.138. I feel like we're doing better this time than we did last time. But I'm not actually 100% certain if that's true or not. Come on, accelerate, damn it. Stop losing speed, gain it. <laughs> Go faster. All right, so we still got... We still got third place, but I think we may have gone a little bit faster that time around than we did before. Did the same on COD, loved you some pistols. Man, it's just, it's the best, hands down. Yeah, we don't need to watch the replay.
Who knows? Maybe if we had done a qualifying round, maybe we would have uh, done a little bit better there. I wonder, like, what the speed runs are like for this game, man. I, I imagine that people have done some crazy, crazy stuff with it here. How often... I don't remember how often we need to change our oil. Okay, our oil is fine right now, so no worries there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do. How much do we need to save up for like at least the level one? Not that. Uh, drivetrain was it? So we can actually get the first level clutch. No, oh, no, we can't. It's fifteen hundred. So forty five hundred for the triple. Maybe we'll try a couple of the other races in that same amateur level or beginner level here. Maybe we'll try a couple more of those and then uh, try to get the, the mid-level one or just save up and go straight for the, the last one. I just don't know, like, if it would be better, better, better to level up one at a time or just go all in. I feel like probably just go all in, right? Because the difference between third place and first place is what? 200 bucks? Something like that? So, you know. I'm gonna do a qualifying lap this time. Just one or two. I don't think we're gonna do all three, but I actually did the same real life for airsoft. Your buddies be rocking rifles with batteries and all. And you're like toss me the three pump action pistols. <laughs> oh man. I loved airsoft. We didn't have like anything fancy growing up. We had a handful of pistols, a handful of rifles. But they were airsoft was so much fun, man. I got into that a lot more than I got into um paintball. And nothing against paintball, I just felt like Airsoft felt a little more realistic to me. Um, plus, you know, it wasn't nearly as messy. I mean, you did have the little plastic balls that you were dropping on the ground all the time. So, you know, probably not the best for the environment. But I didn't have to worry about getting paint all over my clothes. Generally speaking, it hurt less than paintballs too. Um, some of those little BBs could hurt, but like, it was nothing like getting pelted by a paintball that didn't explode leaving welts on your body now if you weren't wearing like long sleeve shirts and pants though i have seen airsoft pellets or bbs get embedded in people's skin from some of the rifles man some of those things fire like freaking mad long distance shots were really hard on on airsoft too um that was bad shouldn't have went off road there of course, we haven't finished the first lap yet, so okay. That's well. Glad we haven't finished the first lap yet, because <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't doing anything good for us right there. Need to need to take that corner a little more softly, maybe. Holy shit, man. Yep, dual-handed. You had one for backup, and you'd still do airsoft. If you ever got a group together? I only have one airsoft pistol, and it's something really cheap. <laughs> But, uh, if somebody else provided the equipment, then yeah, I'd be all for it, man. For sure. Put me out in a field somewhere, give me a couple airsoft guns and a, a, a little canister of pellets, and we're good to go. Did you use, uh, CO2 guns or just the, the pump ones? Ours were all pump, as far as I can remember. I don't think we had any... One of the rifles might have been CO2 cartridge, but you got it for a dollar? <laughs> really? Was that how cheap it was? I remember that you got a good deal on it, but I didn't remember it being that cheap. Holy shit, love. I kind of wish it would still give us the racing. Oh, get on the road. You're going to drive so much slower if you're going off-road, man. We ain't got off-road tires on this thing. I hardly have street <laughs> legal tires on this thing. Four seconds behind. Oh, okay. More complicated track. We're not doing so well. <laughs> I think it was originally like 15. Yes, I mean, it wasn't a very expensive one to begin with, but still, for a dollar? Hell yeah. If I can find it, I can bring that one with me. <laughs> we can just have one pistol each, man. <laughs> Dude, the, pist or the cheap ones are the best. Sometimes your cheapo jam less than some of the fancy ones. No, they were pumped typically. I knew that was like more common, but yeah. Don't they have, like, uh, grenades and all that BS, too? We didn't have any of that fancy stuff either, but... I'm pretty sure, like paintball, you could get some pretty sick equipment for it. Oh, man, okay, we really gotta take it easy on that one. I'm surprised it's not disqualifying our lap. Or I'll be surprised if it doesn't. We're actually being overtaken by the next place guy. So, 
or by the the next guy in the the qualifying round here. We're we're gonna do two laps, and then whatever place we have at the end of the second lap, we're just gonna we're just gonna accept our fate. I was mentioning needing more acceleration, and in this course, this course here really shows that that's true, because all of those corners are just killing our speed. We don't have enough power coming out of them. Oh yeah, we've lost a lot of time to that first place, dude, man. There's no way we're gonna we're gonna be able to catch up to to him in the race. Uh, stay on the track. Go 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 go. I think the most higher powered one was the electric ones. Wait, I think that was still just spring power. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was electric powered. The uh, the rifle that I was thinking of, not CO2. You might be right on that, actually. It was automatic, so it had to have some sort, whether it was gas or electric. Um, it had something in it to, to make it capable of being automatic, you know? Whether it was a, a gas cylinder feeding it or, or a couple of batteries. I'm not sure. I don't remember, sadly. So, I mean, that corner looked a little bit better, but I feel like we're going even slower than we were last time. Gets a lot more dangerous with the CO2 ones. Well, and that's the rifle that I was talking about. Like I said, I saw a guy get hit by that, and he was wearing shorts, and it embedded right underneath his skin, man. Like, it was not... It was not okay. <laughs> like, it was fine, like, if you got hit in, like, you know, your clothing or whatever, because it would just... Uh, bounce off the clothing but if it hit bare skin it was it was going in unless like there was a fair amount of distance obviously if you weren't close to each other or whatever then it would uh it would lose speed but yeah it had it had some oomph speaking of having some oomph this car does not <laughs> we were struggling to go up that hill back there man holy shit all right so this is this is the end of lap two i i'm guessing we're gonna be stuck in either fifth or sixth place i don't think we're gonna qualify much higher here fourth all right that's what we're taking i said at the end of lap two we were taking it so i guess we're starting in fourth uh exit race yes you're gonna start reading now so you don't know how much you'll be able to hear that's fine love what are you reading if you don't mind me asking before you get started are you reading uh oh i have that same dream again or did you start a new book you want a nice sniper one with CO2, but just for targets, not something you'd take into a fight? Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea, man. My problem with the, like, uh, the rifle ones that we had, they didn't have much... Like I said, they didn't have much distance on them. They... They had distance, but after the first, like, 10 feet or so, or uh, a little bit farther, probably, like, 30 feet, they would, like, curve really bad, right? They didn't have a very, sh a very good straight trajectory. They had a very, very curved trajectory, which uh, which sucked for any sort of long-range shooting, obviously. It was kind of fun, though, watching them go, because you would fire it, and then you could just see off in the distance it just suddenly curve up into the air. <laughs> like, <laughs> very odd, but it was kind of neat to see, not gonna lie. Alright, maybe we can overtake second or third place guy here to get second or third place holy crap man he's slowing down don't slow down hey what are you doing bro watch the paint job man paint's not cheap on these cars bro holy crap people be rude out here <laughs> i don't know man we're doing better than i thought we would honestly although we're not to that really sharp turn yet so <laughs> maybe i should maybe i should hold my tongue You're gonna finish that one. You want to read your A Court of Thorns and Roses so bad. I mean, you're free to anytime you want, but yeah, I mean, it's probably a good idea to finish the book you're on first, right? Okay, we slow down to 40. I feel like that's a bit much. I'd prefer if we could hold a little bit more speed coming through that turn. Oh man, and then we really do. We just have no power going uphill. We're still losing speed. Just like on, <laughs> like holy crap! This is the weakest car I think I've ever seen. No, that's a lie. One of my my sister did have a uh, a car. You had to turn off the air conditioner going uphill because otherwise you were gonna go up that hill like 10 miles per hour. It was so bad, it could not go up hills to save a life, man. 
<laughs> actually terrible. And this car's gaining on us on the straightaway. Holy crap. Ah, uh, we're bringing it in, guys. Let's go. Let's go. We're closing that gap. Holy shit, man. Maybe we will get second. I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. But maybe. I don't know how bad, like, touching the red and white is. Like, for speed. I imagine it's probably not the best for speed. But at the same time, you know, you get to cut the corner a little bit. So, that saves you a little bit of uh, distance. So it's a bit of a balancing act, I suppose. Okay, pretty decent on that one, I feel like. This one here, get it, get it brought in. Not that sharp. Okay, just, just taking it nice and, nice and easy, nice and slow. These guys are all like following the line like freaking beasts, man. Holy shit! It's almost like they're, they're professional car drivers or something. Okay, nope. Oh man, yeah, no, we slowed way down on that one. Even slower than we did last time. I want to try to get that one at like 50-ish miles per hour, I think is kind of the sweet spot for this car. But I, uh, you got to make sure you hit that line right, too. And then <laughs> we're actually losing ground here on the straightaway. So we just can't speed up to max speed fast enough. We're going to try that next race before we buy any more parts. But I do... I do think we're probably just going to end up... Oh, that was the end. I didn't realize that was the end. It was a two-lap race. Anyways, I, I... I don't... I don't know, man. I feel like we should save up and just get the level three clutch. But at the same time, I don't want to keep racing for $800 a pop. I want, I want to start making more money, you know? wonder if the bot's working yet. Let's try. Nope. <laughs> Still nada. Okay. 2,280. So if we get third place again, that'll give us 3,000. That might be enough for the level two one at least. It'd be nice if we got like a discount, <laughs> you know, for going from level two to level three or level one to level two or whatever. I don't think we do. I'm fairly certain it doesn't work that way, but would be cool if it did. Get that auto drive. Get us on the track. This one is even curvier than the last two, so uh, <laughs> not going to be good for us. And it looks like it's got a lot of uphill section, which we've already learned this car does not have the horsepower <laughs> just to make it up these damn hills. Although we did surprisingly decent in the race, though, saying that, you know, we didn't actually do all that bad. So who knows? Maybe, maybe I'm being a little too hard on this little... Uh, whatever brand card this is was it was it a suzuki no okay that turns sharp af hey bro the paint job watch it God, people got no uh no no respect man no no common decency can't just ram into people's ass <laughs> Oh, this is the one that we, we practiced on for the license. We can take that, that yellow line area there to really cut that corner sharp. Accelerating down that hill felt nice. Considering this is a PS2 game, those lighting effects there actually look pretty nice, man. Come on, power out of it. Get going, get going. Accelerate. About to turn into a Dalek over here, but screaming accelerate instead of exterminate. <laughs> accelerate. Accelerate. Oh my lord. Rough. Oh shit, we haven't even finished one lap yet either. This must be a pretty long course. I'm going to start drifting. That's what I want to do. Just gonna be a drift pro. That is one thing I like more about the arcade titles instead of the more simulation-based titles. 
is all of the uh, the drifting mechanics that they add in because it just it feels good to drift, you know. It's usually not actually the fastest way to get around a bend, but it feels good and it's fun to just be sliding essentially out of control but still being in control the whole time. And the sound of the tires on the the pavement screeching on the pavement and whatnot, ah, just it's excellent, man. Feels good. Okay, this one is going better than the last one, surprisingly, I say, as we almost hit a wall. We're still one second behind next place, though. I need to remember that curve is wicked AF. Are we coming up on the tunnel here? I think we are. So we're going to bring it in tight. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, is this one right out of the tunnel? We can cut over real sharp. Yeah, buddy. That'll save us a little bit of time over the last one. Oh, what? We've lost two seconds somehow, apparently. This dude's just accelerating way ahead of us, man. You could semi-drift in a car you drove one time when you were younger. I've always driven front-wheel drive cars, which is technically possible to drift in. But generally speaking, most people would agree not as good to drift in. Um, also, losing control was not helping anybody. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Like, I've, I've slid a little bit around corners before, but nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, on public roads and whatnot, I didn't want to do anything too crazy anyways. And break my car or, or get into a wreck or anything like that. You know, not a, not a good idea. I know you can, like, go on professional tracks and uh, ride along with professionals as they drift. I think that would be a, a hella fun time to do. Just kind of chill in the passenger seat while a, while a pro race car driver slash drifter is just freaking going insane around these corners and shit. Tokyo Drift style, you know? Alright, so our qualifying first lap put us in third place. You know what? I'm happy with third place. We're gonna keep that. Let's do the actual race now, man. Oh, crap. So those two cars ahead of us, they, uh... <laughs> Ooh, buddy. That's a, 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 a big makeup we got to do. What, 11 seconds for first place? Sir, are you sure you should be in the beginner bracket? You're looking more like an amateur to me. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're just playing in the lower leagues because you want to feel good about yourself. Just a, just a thought. <laughs> I really hope getting that better clutch makes us, uh, <laughs> really helps our acceleration out a little bit. Look at that. We're, we're on a straightaway getting passed by these dudes because we just can't get the speed to, <laughs> to get going. Like, come on, man. Ugh. Gotta, gotta go fast. We need Sonic over here. Teach us his ways, please. The one benefit of being in a car that's slow as hell is we can go around these corners a little bit tighter <laughs> than the other guys can. <laughs> I think that's the only thing helping us out right now. And don't hit the wall. Get off the wall. Piece of shit. I'm telling you. Hey, get the hell out of here, white car. That car is rude. We need a place here because I really want to get the level two, uh, the, the, the thing. The level two thing. That's what it's called. Clutch. <laughs> All right. So we're going 84, 83, 82, and just driving perfectly straight, losing speed. That's all, you know, no big deal. And yeah, we probably could have taken that one a little bit tighter. Man, I can't get over the lighting effects and whatnot. They really do look good for a PS2 game, you know? Like, you look at a game now, and obviously this is this is nothing compared to something on the PS5 or PS4. But, like, okay, that was nice. Thanks for that, man. Just ran me off-road. Appreciate it, bud. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, we, we're still here. I'm kind of surprised we haven't been disqualified yet. 
for going off road too much. Plus the the contact that we've had. We've had what two or three contacts now. I mean, none of them were intentional, but I'm kind of surprised the the game didn't flag them as being intentional. Regardless, close race, a lot closer than expected. Gran Turismo has always done good with the graphics. I mean, that's true. It helps that they're like a... I don't think Polyphony Digital, the creators of Gran Turismo, I don't think they're owned by Sony. But they they basically... I mean, they work hand in hand with Sony regardless. And that helps. I mean, first party games almost always look better than anything else on a system. I mean, look how good they were able to make God of War look on the PS2, you know? compared to other games at the time. Although saying that, Kingdom Hearts looked pretty freaking good too on the PS2, and that wasn't a first party title. Speaking of Microsoft and Sony and all that, how does everybody feel about Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard? What is everybody's thoughts on that? Because I, I have two thoughts on that. Uh, one is actually good, surprisingly. The other one is I'm pissed. Because, <laughs> like, on the one hand, Activision buy buying Blizzard just completely screwed Blizzard, man. Like, the, the quality of their games and everything went way downhill, I feel like, after, after Activision got involved. So, a different company taking control of the two, I think, will be good for Blizzard to make better games. And hopefully Activision stops being such a, a cash cow sort of thing. Just worried about the profits, shipping Call of Duty games every single year, etc, etc, etc. That would be nice, you know? Getting more original IPs out, more original games out, um, taking more risks. All that's good. And, and in that perspective, I think Microsoft owning them, if the deal goes through, that is, will be good. But I, I am so worried about this idea of Microsoft just buying every big games publisher out there because they bought Bethesda. Well, Zenimax Studios, who owns Bethesda. That is one of the largest game publishers out there already, right? Now they bought Activision Blizzard, who is one of the other largest game publishers. So, like, there's not that many left. You have, like, EA, Ubisoft, Square Enix, and, uh, I mean, there's a handful of smaller people that I, I can't think of off the top of my head. But, like, that's that's pretty much it. So I'm really worried about that because I, I'm foreseeing a future where Microsoft is buying all these studios, making their games first party, Microsoft, or, uh, Xbox and PC only, and in retaliation, Sony and Nintendo are going to have to do the same thing. They won't have any option, right? If, if Microsoft is going to go around buying every game publisher alive, then Microsoft, or I'm sorry, Sony and Nintendo are going to have to, otherwise they won't have any of these games for their own consoles anymore. So it's going to get to the point to where you only have first party games or indie games. And that's it. Like, that's all you have, which is ridiculous. Because I understand that game exclusives are always going to exist. Console exclusives, I mean, are always going to exist. Sony has to make games to try to convince you to buy a PlayStation Microsoft has to make games to try to convince you to buy an Xbox or whatever. But buying game studios that have already been making games for other consoles forever now is, in my opinion, the shittiest way to go about it, man. Like, just incredibly terrible. And and I, I'm really worried that in the future we're going to end up where it's just every every game is either a... Microsoft game, a Sony game, or a Nintendo game. Besides the indie stuff, of course. And that's not a future that I want. I mean, I'm on PC. I'm a PC guy uh, first and foremost, and a Sony guy second. So, like, it doesn't really matter to me as far as being able to get these games. I'm going to be able to get them. I'm going to be able to play them on whatever platform I want. But it still sucks, you know? Because obviously, I, I love consoles. I, I collect consoles. And I, I don't want to see a future where I can only buy Sony games on my Sony console, or I can only buy Nintendo games on my Nintendo console, or only buy Microsoft games on my Microsoft console. That's just dumb. You have console exclusives become a thing of the past and just become delayed releases for other consoles. I would prefer not even having that. But yes, I I, I agree with you there. You know, I would rather have that than, than true exclusives. 
but I feel like it's always going to be, um, there's always going to be some exclusives. I just hope that, honestly, I hope this deal doesn't go through for that reason, but I do want Blizzard to be under somebody else, and obviously Activision needs a change, but I would rather see another game publisher, a third party, not owned by Sony, not owned by Microsoft, not owned by Nintendo. I would rather just see a different third party company entirely take them over. The problem is it's not going to happen because Activision Blizzard, I'm pretty sure, is the largest game publisher out there besides like maybe Tencent games or something if you if you include that. But I don't think they're directly a publisher. But yeah. Hoping it does good and cleans up the company, but at the same time, you feel Microsoft is doing a little too much. If they play it right, I'm okay with it, but I have fears of the things you're saying. Yeah, that's that's what worries me, man. I just, uh, like I said, I think it's good that Activision's going to be taken under somebody else's belt. Um, because Activision's just trash anymore. I mean, they've always been somewhat trash, but they've been especially trash lately, you know? <laughs> So I, I, I'm glad to see them under somebody else's wing. But I don't like the fact that it's a console manufacturer. That's going to lock down their games and stop them from just being open to everybody and everything. You know? So I, I, I'm, I'll am i honestly be surprised if Sony doesn't end up buying a studio or two at some point. Yeah, because at this point it feels like they have to. Losing ZeniMax Studios was already pretty big, because that's all the Bethesda games, that's, uh, you know, like, your your Dooms, and Wolfensteins, and Prey, well, Arcane Studio game, like, they already lost a bunch of stuff from losing that publisher. I don't think they can afford to lose, I mean, now they're gonna lose Call of Duty and all that with the Activision deal, you know? Can you imagine a not cross-platform Call of Duty game? Like, that sounds terrible. You know? <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I wish, like, as much as I hate EA, and Ubisoft's not up on the top of my list these days either, to be honest, um, but it would have been really cool if one of them had been able to swoop in and buy it up or something. It, it's not a realistic dream, but it's, it's one that I would have much rather had seen than what seems to be happening. And uh, I feel like... With Microsoft buying all these Western game studios, I feel like Sony will probably snatch up, like, Square Enix is something I could see, you know, and then all of the Final Fantasy games becoming exclusive to Sony consoles along with, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, uh, the Mana games, etc., etc., etc. And again, that's not something that I want. Even though I'm more of a Sony fan than a Microsoft fan, I don't want these games to be exclusive to Sony consoles either. It's just, it's bad for everybody. Exclusives suck, especially when it comes from a, a traditionally third-party studio. One, understand wanting some extra love for your console as a developer and you feel with delayed releases that can be accomplished, but make it so everyone has access to the game. Yeah, I would accept that as a compromise, you know? Like if you have to choose between a, a true exclusive or a delayed uh, exclusive, then obviously I would choose delayed. But uh, to me, that is a compromise, not a, a solution. But, I mean, honestly, we will see how Microsoft's going to play with it when they release Starfield. Yeah, I mean, they've basically already said Starfield is going to be exclusive to Microsoft consoles. I mean, I don't know if they've literally said that yet, like those exact words, but they, they've essentially said that from interviews and things I've seen. And uh, I, I imagine it'll be the same with Elder Scrolls and whatnot, too, to be honest. Bruh, how are you just going to ram into my ass like that? Yo, so I, I'm trying one of the, the higher level races because it has better cash prizes. But honestly, I mean, we've, we've been... We've had, what, three cars pass us now? So I'm not thinking it's going to end too well. <laughs> We might have to uh, go back to those earlier races. I was thinking about it a little bit more. Instead of buying the mid-range clutch, it's just two more races if we get third place both times to get the the highest level clutch. So we're just gonna we're just gonna save up. But I was hoping to be able to get third place in this one because that's a thousand dollars, I think. So I was like, oh well, that's pretty decent, you know, get a thousand for third place, and then we can just do this one once or twice. But 
Yeah, I'm not seeing that happening now. You think delayed is still trash, but it would be a start towards the right direction? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, man. No arguments with me there. And like I said, I would much rather see that, obviously, than a full exclusive. Um, now, on the what I will say, though, is I am very happy that everybody seems to be, besides Nintendo, seems to be supporting the, uh, the PC lately, you know? Sony is making strides, starting a PlayStation PC label, as well as bringing some of their largest games, Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War and whatnot, to PC. So they're making some strides for it, and Microsoft has excelled in that regard, uh, bringing, having games come to PC. So I am glad to see that. So that's like one open platform that both developers have and support. But I feel bad for console people, you know? Like the people out there that don't want to mess with a with a gaming PC or maybe don't have the money for it because while the games are generally cheaper, you can't argue that the hardware is expensive, man. You know, a, a mid-range gaming PC is going to cost you, even if you're using like mid parts and whatnot, still talking like uh, 500 bucks for something decent for like used. And right now more expensive because the way the market is. If you want a, a mid-range just straight up, you're talking like $1,000, $1,200. High end, like two thousand dollars. You can buy four game consoles for that, you know. So like, it, it just it sucks. I feel bad for the console people. I mean, I guess <laughs> saying how much a, a high end gaming PC is, you know, uh, you could just get an Xbox and PlayStation. But I, I still I don't like the idea of being forced to buy two different consoles. You know, you want the option of picking a console on the console's merit alone. Essentially, yeah. That'd be nice. And, like, I mean, there are always going to be exclusives, though. Because Microsoft is always going to make consoles for their own console. Sony's always going to make stuff for their own console. So um, Nintendo the same way, but... I just don't like when third-party developers are bought up to make uh, exclusively first-party games. That annoys me. Microsoft won you over with the Xbox UI. I'll uh, be honest with you. I hate the Xbox UI. That's one of the reasons why I never got into the Xbox 360. I, I, <laughs> I The cross-media bar in the PlayStation 3, I think, is the best console UI ever created. Hands down. Like, no joke. And I know there are some people that agree with me on that. And I know there's others who absolutely despise the cross-media bar. But I, I think it's the best one they've ever made. And I wish they would have kept it for the PlayStation 4 and 5. Personally, and yeah, gaming PC PC gaming is pricey to get into, especially if you want one that would not be upgraded for a minute. Yeah, I mean you can play like even on a mid-range PC, it can last you for a long time, but you have to accept that you're going to be playing games at a subpar frame rate and and detail settings. You know, you're going to be playing them at a, a lower a lower resolution at a lower frame rate. You're not going to have all of the pretty lighting effects and shadows may be blurry as hell or whatever. You know? We're just going to we're just going to go off-roading. That's what <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Uh, if we don't end up qualifying for higher than 6, I don't think we're even going to attempt this race. And honestly, considering that it looks like these guys are halfway to lapping me, I don't think there's any way we uh <laughs> we we qualify for higher than 6th place in this race. So we're just going to go back to one of the cheaper ones that we know we can do something in. Because I really want to get the upgrade done and then try one more race before before our time's up for the night. Because uh, it's already been, what, an hour and a half? Time's been flying. I really do like Gran Turismo. It's a slow game, right? It's slow to get built up to all the nice cars and all the high performance stuff and the, the really cool races and all that BS. But uh, it is slow because it's it's simulation, you know. You got to earn your money, upgrade your cars, go all that BS. Yeah, we didn't even we didn't even get in above sixth. We're gonna go back to the races we know we can <laughs> at least uh, do decent in. Maybe not win, but get a a lucky second or a, a solid third. And this one here seemed like the easiest and fastest. Between the three Xboxes, UI is most comfortable for you, and that's fair. You like PlayStation UI also, but specifically wasn't a fan of the social aspect of their setup. I mean, the PlayStation 3 didn't have much of a social uh, aspect to it. Um, 
PlayStation 4 and 5 does very much, and to be honest, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the way the 4 and 5 UI set up. It, it gets the job done, but I think the 3 was so much better. <laughs> Plus, I'm not a very, like, social media person or anything like that, so, like, it's neat to see what my friends are playing or, or doing at the moment or whatever, but, I like, come on, I don't care that much. Just show me my games, please. That's... <laughs> I want a gaming forward UI. You missed the 360 original UI. You wish they would have kept one closer to it. Which one was the original? Was that the Blade UI or was that one different? Because the Xbox 360 had like three different UIs, didn't it? Because they kept changing it. The Blade UI was my least favorite that I used on an Xbox 360. But with that said, I don't actually remember so much about what the other ones looked like. Um because I just couldn't get that into it. And I know a lot of people really like the Blade UI on the Xbox 360, and I'm not going to say they're they're wrong for liking it. It just wasn't my cup of tea, you know? I liked the... Uh... I like the other ones. You were picking up, it was during 360 and PS3 days, and you were super into multiplayer at the time. Ah, see, I hate... I don't play multiplayer games. I did play a lot of Call of Duty at that point in time. But other than that, like, don't really care for multiplayer gaming. For the most part. Just can't get into it. I There are some, like, uh, story-based games, you know, multiplayer games that I want to do multiplayer. Like, uh, the, the game that I always forget the name of. Uh, <laughs> Dragon something, I feel like. Uh, maybe not Dragon. Holy shit, they made the new... Baldur's Gate game made by the same company. Uh, me and you played the, the first game in the series before it was multiplayer and it was like Diablo-esque. Holy crap, I can't remember the name of that. That series. But anyways, I want to play that series multiplayer because the, the newer games were made with multiplayer in mind. Um, so I think that would be a lot of fun. And then... Uh, What's the other one? Borderlands as well. Dragon's Dogma? No, not Dragon's Dogma. These were uh, Diablo-esque games, uh, like D&D style tactical RPG games. Um, and the newer ones have an emphasis on playing two or more, or two players, I think, is the maximum. The newest one might have more than two. But anyways, they had an emphasis on multiplayer. Dark Alliance. Not, uh, not Dark Alliance. It's, like I said, it's made by the same developer that makes, that made the new, uh, Baldur's Gate game, which is official D&D &D content, obviously. But they didn't make Dark Alliance, though. Oh, man. I can't believe I don't remember the name of it. Um. Holy crap. Hold on. I'm gonna pull up my Steam list. Open Steam. Let's see. We got second place, by the way. That's pretty cool. Our first, uh, our first second, and we we weren't that far behind either. Uh oh, cool. There's some new Steam games out. That's wait, what? Yu-Gi-Oh Fest 2022. What? I miss Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is fun. Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel now available. All kinds of crap. God of War. I need to buy the God of War game at some point, but charging 50 bucks for it is just stupid. When that game's been out for as long as it has, technically. Okay, games that I have beaten on PC. Divinity. The Divinity series, Nate. Uh, me and you were talking about how we've both played Divine Divinity or whatever, the first one in the series. But they have Divinity Original Sin, the newer games. And those ones have a... Yeah, Divinity. They have a uh, social aspect. Like, they're designed to be played multiplayer, essentially. Jinx. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're seeing me at a... Uh, at a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a delay. So I'm pretty sure I said it a little before you there, bud. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, that's the one. Divinity. Uh, but Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2, they have a social aspect to them. And I really, really want to play them multiplayer. Because, like I said, they were basically designed for it, man. But I, I tried to start a, a game of Divinity multiplayer. And we just can't get that far into it. Because finding the time is just rough, you know, especially for a long-form RPG like that. 
And then same for Borderlands. Borderlands isn't quite as long as Divinity is, but it, it's still, it takes time. And as an adult, finding the time to, to sit down and play games at the same time that, you know, my, my brother or one of my friends or whatever has time to sit down and play games, it's just like impossible. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. I'm probably just going to end up playing through Divinity and Border, the newer Borderlands games both in my own time instead of trying to do a multiplayer. You posted it right before you heard you say it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I said it before it got posted, but we can, we can call it a jinx if you want. <laughs> I never would have thought of it, though, if it weren't for the fact that I looked it up on my Steam list. Because I have my games separated on Steam based off of what I've beaten already and what I'm currently playing and what I, I want to play soon, shit like that. So I just pulled up the list of games that I finished on Steam. Because <laughs> otherwise I never would have been able to think of the name of that damn game. Ah, uh, come on. We need better turning. Okay, get on the road maybe. Yep, we, we lost some speed there, man. <laughs> Now we're going uphill. This isn't good. We can hopefully block fourth place from passing us at least. You were using Google. <laughs> uh, Google works too. I want to play the second Divinity game here one of these days. The first one was a lot of fun. I just got tired of it after a little while. Like it, it, it overstayed its welcome. Plus the build that I was originally trying to do uh, turns out was trash. So, <laughs> I uh, just ended up using some cheese strats. A, uh, there's an archer build that I saw online, and it, it it basically just breaks the game. So, I ended up going for that. I wasn't able to do the full build because I was already like three quarters of the way through the game before I realized that my character build just wasn't going to cut it. Um, so, I didn't have enough points to really do the full thing that I saw online, but it was still enough to basically break the game like it was insane how powerful I was able to get how, uh, that quickly it's awesome it has a lot of fun secrets to find oh yeah very good game divine divinity and then whatever the second one is called divinity 2 or, or something I don't remember and then the newer games have a lot of interesting aspects divinity original sin 2 even has like a dungeon master mode so where a, a single person can go in create maps, uh, spawn enemies at any time, uh, roleplay different characters and stuff like that. Like, it, it's basically D&D, uh, but virtual, you know? The only difference is that you're not using the official D&D rule set, because at that point in time, they weren't affiliated with D&D in any way. Now they are. I don't know if they included something like that in the new Baldur's Gate game or not. It'd be cool if they did, though. Do any original Sin 2 was the one you tried? I thought you mentioned trying one of the older ones at some point. Because you had it like in a box or, or something growing up. But, I don't know, I could be thinking of someone else though. I'm not sure. Original Sin 2 is really good from what I've read. But I haven't actually got to play that one yet. And then, uh, like I was just talking about the, the DM mode. I did watch a, um, a playthrough that some people did. One guy made a whole campaign and had some of his friends play through it. That was pretty, that was pretty fun to watch. And we got third place again, so that should be enough money now to get our upgrade. So hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> we can do better than third place now. So we're gonna go buy our upgrade and then see if maybe we can not be trash. Maybe, it's a big ask, but, <laughs> but we're gonna try it, damn it. All right, Tune Shop, let's get it. Uh, Turbo, was it Drivetrain? I think it was under Drivetrain, right? Yeah. Clutch Triple Plate, 4,500. Buy it, install it. Yes. Let's go. We should probably check our oil to make sure. We've done a fair few races at this point. Oh no, our, our oil hasn't even been touched from the looks of it. I think it's starting to look maybe a little off green, but.
The one you played heavily was Divinity 2 Dragon Knight Saga, but the one you had was called Eco Draconis. What? I'm confused. Let me... Eco Draconis. Yeah, okay, so that's just Divinity 2. Eco Draconis is just, uh... I think it was, like, the expansion version or whatever of, uh... Divinity 2. Fun fact, that's made using the Gamebryo engine. Um, which, if I'm not mistaken, Gamebryo is the same engine that Bethesda uses to this day. Just basically not, because they've modified it so much. Uh, Bethesda... Gamebryo... Bethesda speaks in the final Fallout 3. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the creation engine, which is the engine that Bethesda uses to this day, is basically just, I mean, a heavily, I want to be clear, heavily modified version of the Gamebryo engine. Which is pretty cool. I didn't realize it was made using the same tech. All right, super speedway. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna see if maybe maybe we can get like first place now that we have uh the the new clutch we got the new flywheels or whatever the hell it's called. We've we've put some work into our car. Come on. We need to start making them them thousands, man. We gotta start getting first place so we can start buying some better parts here. Come on, car. Accelerate. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm so far I'm not really feeling it to be honest with you if it's better or worse or whatever. I think maybe a little bit better. Maybe. Oh, we're getting pinched. Let me out. <laughs> Too many cars. Oh, bro, yes. We're actually catching up. Okay, I think it actually did make a difference. We're already in second place. We might be able to pass first. Let's go. 84, 85. Oh, man. Yes, we're out accelerating people on the straights now. That's huge. This is this is so good. We're about to... We're in first. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Finally. So, I mean, we bought the cheapest car available. <laughs> it, it, it took some time to get it, to get it good. But I think we're actually in a position now where we could race. So getting a thousand a race, that still means though that like we need to do a lot of races to get <laughs> to get all of the upgrades and whatnot. I wonder ah uh, no, I was gonna say I wonder if maybe we're good enough now to enter the amateur league, but probably not. Just uh, just being honest, you know. It's a wonderful game. You need to re revive it on PC. I'm pretty sure they're cheap. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but it couldn't have been all that much. But I, I have them all. They're, they're a lot of fun. If, uh, if you get your gaming PC back and you end up getting the original Sin games, or if you have the original Sin games or whatever, I'd be down to, to play them sometime if uh, we ever have time. Like I said, I do want to play that game multiplayer. It's just... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think it's ever going to happen, sadly. <laughs> 58.266. I wish we could see our ghost on these races. Like, the real races. It'd be nice to see how much better we were doing compared to ourselves. Instead of just compared to, you know, our place. I don't know if that's an option you can enable or not. You can save your replay. I wonder if saving your replay would, like, save your ghost, too. Probably not, but... It would be cool. Gonna have to buy Dragon Age Origins to stream, and yeah, man, I'll pick up Original Sin 1, and we can try take a try at it. So I'm totally down, man. Get the, uh... I don't know if they still sell the original, um, or if they only sell the HD one, but the HD one fixes a lot of bugs and whatnot as well. It's not just a prettier version of the game. So if you do go to buy it on PC, I would definitely suggest picking up uh, Divendi Original Sin HD or whatever the hell it's called. 
Oh man, we beat him by 1.8 seconds. Well, 1.75. So that made a big, big difference there. Getting that uh, triple level clutch. Finally got a gold medal. Hell yeah, dude. No, we're not. We're not watching the stupid <laughs> replays. Why does the replay come up every time? I think I'm doing that. I'm probably hitting the wrong button or something, but. Like, I do not care about the replay, I promise you. What time is it? It's uh, about a 10 till, man. Okay, so we're about out of time. Let's try, what else is there here? There's a lot of races. GT World Champion, series of 10 races. Oh no. No way, we would get our ass kicked. 10 grand for first place though. Oh, and you need an A license. We only have a B license. So that's not gonna happen. Race of Turbo Sports, North American 80s, Spider and Roadster. Stars and Stripes, I'm guessing this is just American vehicles. Four-wheel drive. I feel like the four-wheel drive would be the best for us because we are a four-wheel drive car. But those other ones we were facing just like kicked our ass, man. Hey, we, I don't want to do deforest again because <laughs> that one, that one was rough. Preview before entering. Does it just like show us the track? I really just want to see the map, get an idea of what it's going to look like before we get into it. No, it's it's like a whole video. I don't I don't want to sit there and watch the race. We'll just enter it. Screw it. Whatever. We'll enter and then we'll do the same thing. We'll try the qualifying laps, and if we don't get above six on the qualifier, then we'll uh, then we'll just go back and do something else maybe. We only have time for one or two more races, though, anyways. Holy crap, that's a no. Do you see that course up there? Nope. <laughs> this car cannot turn that sharp. Not happening, man. <laughs> that's all I needed to see of that. What about a midfield raceway? We'll, we'll do this one no matter how bad it looks, so we're not just staring at loading screens the entire time. But holy crap, that was <laughs> not a good, not a good course. Or track, whatever you want to call it. Is the bot working yet? It's still not working, is it? Freaking thing being broken. Streamlabs, get your act together, man. <laughs> All right, where's the, the map? Okay, this one's not too, too bad. Wait, have we done this one before? We've done this one before, have we not? I'm pretty sure we have. We're just uh, racing a different class of vehicles now. Because they're all four-wheel drive instead of, you know, whatever. Just the, I guess we were in, like, the unlimited format before, right? Just <laughs> didn't have anything specific. Just anybody could join. Okay, looks like we're still about to be passed. These cars must be... Like, have a lot more work put into them. I was hoping since it's still in the beginner section, it would still be, like, closer to our, our class, our level. But, no. Looks like these are some upgraded cars, even though we're only a, a few slots down from where we started. Oh man. I wonder if we'll be able to get up turns. Now, we didn't increase our horsepower at all, just our acceleration. So I feel like we're probably still going to be screwed trying to go up hills. <laughs> but maybe it'll be a little bit different. If nothing else, we should be able to gain a tiny bit more speed before we start going up the hill. I mean, that's still a benefit, right? <laughs> uh, I should have braked sooner. That's, yep, we lost control there. Nope. All right, well, we're still just on the uh, the pre-qualifying lap, so. I should We did this track before. I should have known to slow down more coming into that turn. Oh, no, we're still going slow as hell up this hill, though. 54. <laughs> 55. As soon as we get to the top, though, man, it's just a zoom, zoom from there, you know? Just <laughs> gotta, gotta hit that, that crest at the top of the hill. Gain up as much speed as we can. Let's get this position. And by him, this position, I mean sixth, because we're about to be lapped by the last guy there. <laughs> well, not lapped, but passed. 
yeah, these cars are definitely, definitely better than whatever we, we're rocking right now. Holy crap, the difference is just staggering. Like, that's insane. All right, yeah, no point. No point. We're not going to make it. All right, so I think we'll just do one more normal race. The ones that we were doing. Maybe we'll go for gold on the... Since we got it on the first Sunday Cup, but bronze on the other two. Maybe we'll try the... Uh, well, why not just do that same course? The same the same track, I mean, that we were just playing on. But do it in a... In a, in a class that we can not get destroyed at. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea. We'll try that. <laughs> oh, Steam, why are you updating right now? I, I need to see, please. Let's go. <laughs> the zero to 60 on this thing, I don't know what it is actually. But I feel like my, my car that I have sitting outside my house would be that. My, my rusted out junker <laughs> would probably beat the 0 to 60 on this uh, quote unquote souped up car that I got here for racing. Of course, we are racing a, a freaking Beetle right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know how seriously I can take any race that's got a Beetle going through it. I say that and then some guy just pulls up in a freaking like uh a beetle with a like nos tanks mounted in the back and completely gutted for weight and all this shit like just something crazy you know oh man have they ever made like an off-roading beetle like i'm just i'm imagining a beetle with like a, a roll cage installed in it and then the whole thing can just like instead of driving down hills it can just roll down hills you know <laughs> i don't know why but that's just <laughs> that, oh, it's hilarious <laughs> to me. Just thinking of it in my head. Just like you, you speed up a little bit on the hill and then you just hit the brakes so that it tilts forward and then it just starts rolling down the hill. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Okay, we still need to work a little bit. We didn't go off-road at least, so that's a better than last time, but... We still could have taken that, that corner a lot better than what we did, though. Oh, man. Okay, so whatever we do next, it needs to be increasing our horsepower. Because, like, not having enough power to make it uphill is not <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. There's only two laps on this one, but... So we need to try to catch up if we're going for the gold. We're in second, though, so we're doing better than we were. That uh, get the new clutch and everything did definitely make a difference. The better acceleration. Son of a gun, you died on Mass Effect. I hope you saved recently. That's the worst in any RPG. Getting a game over and then having to like redo a shit ton of whatever you were doing. But with that said, uh, newer games like Mass Effect usually have checkpoints and whatnot, so not as bad. I just have flashbacks of playing Final Fantasy XII and grinding for like three hours. And then being like, ah, I'll be fine. I've been grinding in this area forever. Why would I possibly need to save? And then freaking dying like instantly afterwards. Literally just found the way you need to go to. That sucks, man. What are you? Are you playing the uh, the legendary collection or whatever? The, the new remaster one? It does have a continue feature. That is excellent. <laughs> Honestly, as much as I love classic JRPGs, I wish they would have adopted a continue system a lot earlier than what they did. It took them way too long to do that, man. Like, come on, Pokemon had a continue system, essentially, with the whole whiting out thing and then just losing a bunch of money and whatnot. Like, I would greatly prefer that to the game over system. Game overs in general, though, are pretty dumb, in my opinion. They were, they're a relic of when things, like, arcades ruled the world, you know? And I'm sorry, but I'm not popping quarters into an arcade machine anymore why do i need a game over and just force me to redo the last three hours of content or whatever it's ridiculous there's there's no there's no reason for that and i'm glad for the most part that continues and checkpoints and things have uh <laughs> have gotten more popular 
All right, so we got second place. Not, not the first I was hoping for. Not taking home the gold today, but it still shows an improvement, you know. Do we have time for one more race? I let's let's see what upgrades we can get. We we might have time for one more. One more quick race before we get off. It's a little late, but screw it. I don't have to work tomorrow like I usually do. Speaking of tomorrow, we'll be back again tomorrow because I stream on Thursdays and Fridays now. I don't know what game we're playing tomorrow. I'll probably just roll the random thing that I that I'm using that I used tonight to pick this. Probably just roll that to pick whatever game, because it's getting hard to pick stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so suspension and brakes. There's nothing in there that's going to increase our horsepower. Uh, air cleaner will increase it a bit. Muffler and air cleaner. Semi-racing. Sports. That'll increase it by three for 1,500. That's not a terrible idea. Drivetrain, we already got some of the best that we can get. Lightweight drive shaft made with carbon composite as with the flywheel. Upgrades to the drive shaft, which is situated between the differential gear and the transmission are a more effective way of improving engine response and acceleration than a lighter body. So if we wanted to increase our acceleration more, we should do that. Uh, transmission, that stuff's way too expensive for us. Limited slip stuff, yeah, again, way too expensive. If you got tie to work, you should play that. I, I'm down for that. That's fine with me. So I'm trying to do, uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing the random stuff is because I want to, we're going to do one more race before we buy anything. I want to, uh, make sure I'm not playing just all of the good games, you know, I want to get through all of the stuff, but since, uh, Ty was something that you had given to me, I am down to go ahead and play that. That's no problem. And that's not a bad idea. Friday night, eat some pizza and then play some Thai. I'm down, dude. That was another game that I saw as well whenever I was buying the stuff today was Thai and Thai 2. And uh, I did consider picking it up, but I was like, eh. The Thai 2, Thai 1 I didn't because I already have the copy, obviously, even if it's not in the greatest shape. I do have the copy. And then uh, Thai 2 I didn't just because the price wasn't quite right. It wasn't terrible, but I knew I could get a better deal either at our, our more local game store or online or whatever. So, yeah, I'm down to try out some time, man. I have to get all these new games that I got put on there, too, so that the random generator can pick from them. The only problem with the new games that I got is, like, three or four of them were Madden NFL games, which I'm probably... I don't know, man. <laughs> one of these... I'm probably just going to do, like, one match in each, because... Who really wants to sit around and, and watch or play a bunch of Madden NFL games, you know? Like, if I was good at the games, maybe it would be interesting to watch. But I don't even like football. <laughs> like, <laughs> who wants to watch a dude that's not only terrible at the game, but also doesn't even like football playing a bunch of uh, Madden NFL games? I know I wouldn't want to watch that, so I don't see anybody else wanting to either. <laughs> And I can't blame them for it, you know? So. Tie 2 is a lot of fun and a decent price there. Yeah, I figured it would be. I mean, it wasn't, like, outrageously priced. But it was, you know, a few a few bucks more than what I would want to spend on it. Which is already, like, a, a couple bucks more than what it's really worth. So. Yeah, I think I'm just going to either pick it up online or, like I said, from downtown once it uh, comes time to get it. Which hopefully won't be too much longer. <clears throat> the one game that I do really want to pick up, like, soon, soon, probably next paycheck, is Odin's Fear. That game that Rue has been suggesting for forever. And I've been wanting to play it just because uh, he suggested it and it looks cool. And also because it's something that they've been requesting for forever now. So I want to pick that one up soon, too. If they have that one down at the, the local game shop, I'll probably pick it up next pay. And if they don't, then I'll probably order it offline, because I saw a few online for reasonable prices. Thankfully, not hard ones to come by. We are having trouble getting around this dude. There we go. Oh, trying not to swap paint with you, really. Just trying to get in front of you, bud. I think it was like nine bucks also, or something like that. And yeah, that did sound interesting. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, nine bucks there. I think it was, like, 14 or 15 bucks at the other game shop, which... I mean, I would be willing to pay a dollar or two more for, for a game that I know I'm most likely going to enjoy. But that's, you know, almost almost double what it's really worth. So I'd rather not do that. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the 5-bit cheer. Thank you, love. I wasn't sure if you were still here or not. I'm guessing you finished up a chapter in your book. You should be getting pretty close to the end of it, right? I know you said something about only having like 40 minutes left in it earlier. Well, yeah, I knew you were still here, but you were reading, so I didn't think you were like here, here, you know? You're done with it, so you did finish it. Very cool. Do you like it? She was reading a, a book that I recommended to her. It's, uh, I had that same dream again. It's by a Japanese author about trying to find your happiness, essentially. Um, very good book. Highly suggested to anybody that, that likes to read. It, it's not like an action book or anything like that, though, so don't go into it expecting that, but... Plane crash thing confused me, though. I don't want to have any spoilers on stream, but, uh, we can, we can talk about that. Because I, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds interesting. It is. It, it's a really good book. Um, they have a manga version of it, but I, I prefer the, the actual regular written book version, to be honest. But uh, if you generally prefer manga to books, then they do have that as well. There's a cat. Yes, there is a cat. <laughs> There's a cat in the book. That's all that matters to Mr. Noodle. If it has a cat, it's a 10 out of 10. Best game or book or movie, or I guess it doesn't really matter. Just best thing. All right, we're going to we're going to do our upgrade and then we're going to go ahead and get one more race in just because I want to see how much of a difference it's going to make. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> see, there it is. <laughs> It's got a cat. She recommends it. Done. There we go. Intercooler racing. That'll give us an extra six horsepower. I mean, I, I feel like that's not the biggest difference in the world, but it's something. Boost the power of a supercharged engine by lowering the intake air temperature. The larger capacity increases the temperature, reducing capabilities, but slightly lowers engine response. This high capacity intercooler is a suitable upgrade for engines with a high maximum supercharging pressure. So, I mean, I don't... I don't know how much, how far they take the simulation, because in theory, from what it said, that would actually be a bad upgrade for our car because we don't have a high capacity supercharger at the moment. But <laughs> I don't know if it actually takes the simulation that far or if it's just like, hey, you buy this thing, you get six more horsepower, you know? I'm guessing, considering this was a PS2 game, it's probably just the simple, hey, buy this thing, get six more HP. And not health points, horsepower. <laughs> does this, this track does have a couple hills. So we'll be able to see if we uh, do any better up the hills. We were losing like two miles per hour, generally speaking, on the hills. It also said something about the engine being slightly less responsive. So if that's true then we should lose a tiny bit of our acceleration that we've been working toward. But again, hopefully it's not being modeled that accurately. And uh, hopefully we just get more, more horses, just more power in the engine here. We should have checked our oil before we started this race too, but oh well. Okay, well, I mean, it feels like we're doing better already because we... Uh, we got third place last time, so we're either racing slower people, or we're definitely going faster. Okay, don't slide out of control, though. That's not going to help anybody. I feel like what we really need now is to something for our uh, handling. Maybe better tires would be the next upgrade. There's no way I'm going to remember that by the time I get back around to playing this game again after this night of the PS2 gauntlet, like, <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna remember to come back and buy better tires on this car. If I ever get to play the game again, which I would love to do, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. Time is tight. Okay, we're going uphill. We're going 61. 
60. 59. Okay, so we're still losing multiple horsepower on the hill. But I feel like we are going a little bit faster in general, though. So, I, I don't know, man. Maybe it maybe it's better. We could take it to a track, to one of the testing tracks, to see exactly, like, how much our maximum speed has increased or, or whatever. But, now, nah, where's the fun in that, man? Just take it out on a real race. If you can beat the dudes you couldn't beat before, it's better. If you can't, then I guess you didn't really change much. <laughs> That's how we do our performance testing around here. We're pretty close to this dude, but I do feel like he pulled away there at the end. So I, I don't think our car is good enough to get first place on this one yet. But we're getting closer. More horsepower, a little bit better handling. Honestly, I kind of wonder if getting that that drive shaft upgrade, I kind of wonder if that would be the next best thing for us to get on uh, on this one here. Kind of feels like it might be. Ah, uh, yes, technically in first. I don't know if it's going to last, but Yeah, he's already trying to pull ahead of us. <laughs> yep. Nope, we're battling for it. Ah, <laughs> uh, he just rammed me going into the corner. What the hell? Ref! <laughs> That's some bullshit right there, man. Just knocked me off the track. I didn't want a disqualification on that guy, please. Uh, somebody? Throw a flag up? Something? Holy crap. Yeah, no, we're not going to get first. It's, it's possible that we could have, but... I do think we're going to get second, though. There is a car right on our ass, but I think we can out-accelerate him. Oh, no, he's trying to overtake us. Oh, no, nope. Oh, I'm going to end up losing second because I'm terrible. I'm so mad. <laughs> we lost second place because I freaking fishtailed at the end. Oh, whatever. It's fine. It is what it is. That's going to be the, the end of it for the night anyways, guys. Thank you so much, everybody that came out. Nate, Mr. Noodle, both of you, I appreciate you. Anybody else that came out just to hang out or whatever in chat. Or, I mean, not in chat, but just watching. Appreciate you guys being here as well. And again, I will be back on tomorrow at my usual time. So, you know, between 11.30 and 11.45 for a couple hours. Uh, most likely Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. So, thank you again, everybody. And I hope to see you then. Have a good night. What other games uh, are you excited to see, Nate? You you mentioned Dark Cloud, of course, but.